Welcome back everybody, I'm Pixel Dragon, and you're watching a Let's Play of Elden Ring. In the last episode, we uh, went, we started exploring Mount Gal Galmir, uh, took down, uh, that's it, got a golden rune too, took down a, uh, like a putrid erd tree thing, it was like a big worm, I forgot the name of it, uh, and we also took down an invader, uh, Anastasia, Anastasia the Tarnished Eater, I think it was. Golden Rune 3. Golden Rune 3. Golden Rune 7. Nice. And uh, and then we made our way up here uh, via a ladder. And we're going to explore this little cliffside area. Okay. Hey, buddy. I wasn't going to attack him. Somber Smithing Stone 6. If he was just a chill little pup, so I was going to let him be. He got up and wanted to attack. Sad panda. Alright. Uh, let's see here. That uh, is certain death. Okay. Let's check out this gigantic little fortress. Any ballistas? No? Okay. There are soldiers. What was he doing? Was he like was he eating his friend? I think they're eating these people. Yeah, they are. They're totally eating these guys. Bird tree surcoat. Yeah, these guys have gone nuts. Landell Soldier Helm, Landell Soldier Greaves, Bolt, Bird Tree Surcoat. I don't think anybody else dropped anything. Okay. Oh, Pumpkin Head. Alright. Yeah, let's dance, buddy. Alright, there is. I'm not a huge fan of, like, lightning randomly being cast. That's not chill. Smithing stone four and a sanctuary stone. Got a beast blood. All right. Oh, you're not the one casting. Oh, maybe you were. Maybe, maybe. Uh, it's a volcanic stone. Maybe he was like throwing those little rocks that was causing lightning. Dude up there. So I'll circle around. I don't want him getting me like or following me up a ladder either. Alright, sacramental buds. Anybody down here before I go up that ladder? No? Okay. Cool. Let's head up that ladder. I 
no one waiting for me up here. What are the notes? Time for ladder. No. Oh. I'm expecting there to be like a knight or something up here. I was, uh, um, yeah, I was, I was expecting like a knight uh, waiting for me at the top just to like try and kick me off. Fulgur Bloom. Fire Arrow. Nice. That was it? Smoldering Butterfly. Ah, here we go. I was like, that can't be the last of it. Here we go. Alright, what's the prize? A bully bow. Interesting. What does this thing do? Uh, a pulley bow. Long bow, which utilizes a series of pulleys and springs. The complex mechanism, which required advanced mathematical and mechanical understanding to craft, was likely made by a certain genius who learned Golden Order fundamentalism. Enhances precision while shooting, enabling arrows to fly much further distances. That is pretty neat. I like that. Yep, that was... I I'll call that a, a win. That was worth the trip up here. All right. And now we're going to continue exploring behind this area. Right, golden Rune 6. So that's a, that's a bridge. Okay. Is it crossable both ways? I don't want to. I don't want to cross a one-way bridge. Yeah. Yeah, I can get back up on it. Okay. Got to be careful. I don't want to get myself in over my head. Oh. What are these things? Um. You know what? I'm not 100% confident. Well, you know what? I don't know. Let's do this. Cuz I I have a level on me at the moment. And I've lost uh, I've lost two like not too many runes over the time, but I've lost more runes than I really care to since I've started uh, started this game. And I just uh, I'm just gonna not do the risky thing because that thing I'm not 100% sure I'll live through. At least not the first try. I will kill it, but I just don't want to lose all my runes in the meantime. But we are going to go immediately back up there. Skip all the uh, all the baddies and the pumpkin head. We're just going to go straight to that dude. I can't help but taunt these guys, though. It's just so easy. I'm a little curious why uh, one of uh, Godric's creatures are here, though. Alright, so, I, I probably could have. Okay. Good to know. That was weird. Sopophoric Grease. Scavenger's Curved Sword. Alright.
mist. Yeah. And when I saw that mist, I was like, is this like the edge of a uh, of a thing for torrent to jump on? But it doesn't look like it. Um, it's not a huge full circle, so. Sliver of meat. I want to I want to scan the area real quick, make sure I'm not missing anything cool or important. Ooh, got flags up here. Okay. This is neat. Oh, Gelner is a pretty neat place. I like it. that direction. Another ladder here. There we go. Gotta kill those things quick so they don't so they don't get the pop off their like I'm going crazy attack. Sacramental buds and some volcanic stone. Yeah, if you need sacramental buds, man, Mount Gelmir, this is the place. You, I mean, there's just so many of them around. Okay, so that little spot is mostly good for just getting some, uh, a little bit of XP, but mostly just the sacramental buds and volcanic stone. Volcanic stone, you can get. I mean, it's not really worth going over here for it. You can get it anywhere. Um, I'm going to go the other direction because there was a marionette there. Um, but yeah, you, uh, the volcanic stone is just... I mean, you can just get that right outside the uh, entrance to Volcano Manor. My little turd. All right, marionette soldier armor. Which is not very helpful for me. Something's waiting up there. All right, and let's get this guy. Oh, hey, a tree is Lily. And some arrows. Alright. Now we're gonna go back and head up that ladder. I think that it looks like a, um, like an Erd Tree Guardian. Um, what do you call those? I think that's what they're called, is the, the little dudes that sit outside the Erd Tree Avatar areas. That, it looks like that is, um, what's waiting at the top of that cliff. We will find out. 7,600 runes, even. Alright. Interesting. How do I get there safely? I think I gotta find a way up to that. Okay. Ah, oh, welcome. Dear customer, yes, right this way, right this way. You seriously have, like, the worst locations to sell stuff. Welcome, valued customer. Come, trade in our wandering emporium. Please, buy something. I'm hungry. I've been hungry so long. 
please. Oh. If you got something worth buying. A volcano pot and a roped volcano pot. That might be worth it, actually. A guilty hood. Coarse hood cloaked of olive brown. The garbs of those accused of lesser crimes indicated by the collar of sharpened branches. Confessor hood. Oh, that's like a starter item. Um, black hood for uh, blending in with the darkness worn by church confessors. The churches outside the lands between dedicated to the teachings of the fo of the two fingers. Uh, send confessors out. Oh, sorry. Um, dedicated to the teachings of the two fingers. Send confessors out to follow the guidance of grace. The confessors are loyal servants to the two fingers, ready to hunt down and quietly dispose of their enemies. Oh, oh, like you can get the whole confessor set here. Okay. Uh, I'm not super interested in that. Um, I will take the cookbook though. That's probably what the volcanic, volcanic stone is for. Volcano pot. Volcanic stone found on Mount, found on Mount Galamir. Yep. Creates heat cloud causing continuous fire damage. Alright. Sounds like something I can get on board with. Goodness gracious. These are such tall cliffs. Okay, more of these dudes. Oh shoot, no. The madness people. Oh damn it. Oh boy, that madness. Oh man, it's all the way back here. Skipped another shot. Except this time I'm not gonna walk around and kill literally everything I find. Okay. That's why they're okay, so that's why they're all like eating people and stuff. They're, they've all gone mad. Does that thing come back? Doesn't look like it. Okay. All right. Now, here comes the time for a lot of ladder climbing. You know, the people who uh, who put these ladders in place, they had a lot more confidence in their construction than I would have had. Like, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to lay like a quarter mile of ladder ropes and, uh, you know, that, that should hold. That should be safe enough. I'm just like, no, no, I'm good. I would not actually climb this. Or rope ladders, not ladder ropes. Um, same diff, though. I'm. That is not something I'm going to willingly jump into. Okay. So, gotta stay out of the way of the madness. I'm, I'm probably just, my status for it is, uh, or my resistance to it is not great. Uh, focus is 60. I think focus is resistance to madness. Maybe it's, maybe it's robustness. I forget. I was looking it up on the wiki a little while ago and I don't remember. Um, like e each one of those, uh, immunity or, uh, each one of those attributes has, uh, like two, sometimes three, I think, uh, types of damage associated with it. Okay. 
So I gotta pick these things up. Boy, that was close. Okay, got my got my flask back. That's nice. Got some birds up here. Oh, neat! That must be the volcano manor. Looks really neat from this from this distance. Okay, so I've got to be super careful around this area because we got. Uh, Madness creatures, uh, like man, uh, not madness, um, like creatures with uh, that are infected with madness, and they're gonna, they're gonna burst that crap all over the place. Okay. Already gone down here. Nope. Is that a dude? Okay. A yellow ember. Got a bunch of volcanic stone, too. Okay. Um, so, story-wise, I'm, I'm starting to kind of get what's happening here. Um, what is it? Praetor Rykar, or whatever his name is. Um, he... Oh, God. What the hell? Um, he became, uh, like, blasphemous. Uh, I don't know what he did specifically. Um, but he went, like, he became blasphemous. And, uh, like, they, they were saying, like, the lands, uh, paid the price for his, um, uh, for his actions. And so that's what's going on, is, like, the people around here are now, like, infected with the madness. So the two fingers, uh... I don't really understand that, but they, they must be, like, just kind of the, the good, and then if you go against them, uh, you become basically mad and crazy, and then you have this, um, uh, it's like, a, you know, like the dark side, basically. Or chaos, if you're in 40k. Okay, that's my guess. Uh, that's what, that's, that's the pieces I'm putting together here. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's the thing I wanted. A great arrow. Yeah, I wanted something cooler. is just kind of right back where I started. Okay, that was pretty neat, though. Ha! Nice try. Got some volcanic stone. Okay, um, let's see. Am I still being attacked? That thing is so far away. Man, 
That sounds me trying to open. Uh, that's me trying to open the map. It's like, no, you're in combat. Really not. All right. Let's just get all the way back to the site of Grace. Oh, there's that area too that I haven't explored yet. place is just huge. I don't even know what to title this episode. Um, like Mount Gelmir Cliffside? I don't know if that makes any sense. Where are you? I heard you. I heard a wolf. What are you? Mikella's Lily. Okay. This place is so ominous. I get, like there's got to be something over here. Some sort of... Oh, this must be a, uh, a tomb entrance uh, to catacombs. Let's go down just so we can get the, uh, uh, the Sight of Grace. Gelmir Hero's Grave. Oh. Sounds pretty neat, actually. Gelmir Hero's Grave. Hmm. Okay. We might tackle this in the next episode. Um, but for now, we are going to wrap up here. And uh, in the next episode, I think we're going to go ahead and tackle Gelmir Hero's Grave. And it'll probably take a, um, a full episode. Catacombs usually do. Um, and this one feels different enough uh, um, on entrance. That I don't think it's going to be more of the same as the other ones were. So it might provide something interesting for us. So I will catch you all in the next episode.